Hello, everybody. Welcome to 8 Hit Gaming. It's a show in Seattle about weed and art and video games. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here. My guest today is one of my better, better best friends in the whole world. It's Victor Belmont, everybody. Everybody say hi. 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 <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Uh, Victor, <laughs> Victor's not smoking today because he's uh, a little sober daddy these days. But I don't know. He's still cool, right? Um, some of you probably remember Victor from uh, my short film, Poster Boy. Ooh, acting. <laughs> Tell us about your acting experience, Victor. You have to say words on the show. Oh, okay. Uh, well, basically, my <laughs> acting experience is limited to uh, no-budget short films, <laughs> uh, usually made in the Pacific Northwest, specifically one called Poster Boy that you made and produced, <laughs> and porn where I get fucked and eat pizza. That's pretty much it. That was, like, your debut, right? Yeah. Is that, like, your signature move? Like, if a porn star, like, gets fucked while eating pizza, can you, like, sue them? Yeah, basically. I own a trademark on it. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you could own a trademark on something so specific. Yeah. Well, that's all my questions. I guess we should just play the game. Yeah. You want to get into it? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So Victor and I are lovers in a finite space-time. Um, but today we're going to be playing Lovers in an Infinite Space-Time, which is a game that was free on Xbox this month, and I had heard of it. But I haven't played it, and oh my gosh, it's so fun. I'm so excited. We're gonna try and pilot our ship through space-time? I'm about to crash this motherfucking ship. <laughs> Victor, you were just telling me that you got a uh, PlayStation 4 recently. Yes. Uh, what games have you been really getting into now that you're up and current with the new generation of games? Um, well, I played Guilty Gear a lot. That's great. I played the new Final Fantasy. Oh my god, are we starting? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can actually, like, talk and you play have to this do game. Both. Okay. If you're not going to smoke weed, you at least have to do these two things. Okay, uh, so I've been playing Final Fantasy, that's great. I'm shooting 15? these things. Yes. How are you liking it? It's kind of bro-y, right? Uh, honestly, it's kind of bro-y, and I feel like uh, the fighting system is actually a little clunky. Oh, but um, it's like more action-oriented than usual, right? Yes. So for those who haven't actually played this game before, uh, I am the Should little Should I set off guy. the cannon? Oh shit, yeah, we need to yeah. set off the cannon. This is really bad. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. So as you can see, we're sort of piloting this um, spaceship. And so it's not I've got your shield. Great. Oh, thank do you, you want to shut? Do you want to shoot things? Yeah, I'll shoot things. Okay. Victor's running the shield. He's down in that little blue room right there. Okay. Um, but now I'm leaving the guns behind. I'm going to pilot the shield. Um, but yeah, Final Fantasy. I know you're a big fan of the series. What's your like highlight? I know you like uh, Vincent Valentine. I do like Vincent Valentine. Final Fantasy VII is great. Final Fantasy VIII is great. Uh, I also like Final Fantasy X because I'm a garbage person. <laughs> Here, you steer for a while. Okay. Is this the steering? Mm hmm Oh, there's a dude right there, actually. Let's save him. Okay. We have to save these five little bunnies to open the portal. So I'm not going to lie, people are still shooting at us. Where would you like me to go? Up? Down? Around? Um, those all sound like good ideas. Side Do side. evasive maneuvers, Scotty. Uh... Scotty didn't. Evade! Evade! Scotty didn't do the evasive maneuvers. Evade! He was in charge of the <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. All the Trekkies watching are furious. <laughs> Who would you rather bang? Evade! Squall, Lionheart, or Cloud Strife? I mean, here's the deal. Cloud is brooding, but also I feel like he'd be like a sad boy top. <laughs> and... What is that like? <laughs> I think we are going to die. Oh, okay. But it's cool because we'll get to see what dying looks like in this game. I mean... <laughs> so what do you think uh, uh, Bump and Uglies with Squall would be like? It would be better? Uh, I feel like Squall would be like a by top, you know what I mean? Oh, oh fuck. no. We blew up. Okay, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. Now you know how it works. Yeah, so no well, excuses. would be like a by top, and I feel like he would let me maybe like tie him up and hit him, so that would be cute. Mm -hmm. But who would like give up Banging Cloud? Really? <laughs> What's your opinion? Um, I never played either of those games. I yeah. just know kind of about them. Mm. And plus, like, I played Kingdom Hearts, and yeah. uh, Cloud is in um, Smash Brothers yeah. and all that. Did you ever play Cloud and Smash Brothers? No. You got a big old sword. <laughs> I want to touch that sword <laughs> with my mouth. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Yuri on Ice, so I've been doing that and watching all the anime instead of playing games as much. Yuri on Ice is a gay, uh, it's a BL, so it's a boy love, basically gay show about ice skating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
Most of the characters are gay. There are a few straight characters. But, oh my god, can you do the cannon? Yeah. Okay. This um, is overwhelming. <laughs> I'm trying. How come it's called Yuri if it's two boys? Shouldn't it be called, two, like, Yaoi? Yes. Right. So, Yaoi would be correct, except one of the main characters' names is Yuri, oh. and he's Russian, which is that a is a Russian name. Common name. Yeah. Or actually, <laughs> there's a there are two characters named Yuri. There's the main character named Yuri, who's Japanese, and then there's a basically anti-hero character, um, who's like a brooding 15 year old from Russia, who's basically his like uh, nemesis slash frenemy, and they're both in love with a character named Victor, who. This is why you're watching it. <laughs> I'm watching it because I'm okay. very self-involved and I want to hear my name a lot in a anime. <laughs> oh my god. Can we do the canon? Uh... Not, not yet? I mean, we can. Should I wait a little longer? No, I'm just, I'm shooting with the side cannon, so... <laughs> I'll shoot your side cannon. What do you think that means? I want you to really break down that sexual innuendo. What is a side cannon? <laughs> In the analogy of this dirty metaphor you've made. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I win at things, and sometimes I'm like, what am I talking about? Okay. Okay. Oh, gonna die. Yep, yep. Uh, thank God we got the cannon. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you try and do something other than shields for once. You, you know me. what? I'm switching with you. Can I kick you out of your spot? Is that what I did last time? How did you do that? Okay, well, fine. I'll work the shields, and I'll fail at protecting it. <laughs> Is there anything you're really looking forward to this year, as far as, like, new PS4 games? Um, I would like to see something... Keep shooting. I would like to <laughs> see something, uh, another thing out of the Guilty Gear franchise. Um, I'm... And that's a fighting game, right? It's like yeah. an anime fighting... It's like an anime fighting game. Uh, the thing about Guilty Gear is there's, like, basically the story mode oh, is really... Oh, fuck. Well, I'll try it again. <laughs> uh, the story mode is really good. The art is really good. And also it's like a uh, metal, like it's kind of heavy metal, punkish. I don't know. It's like a very cool, unique fighting game. And what I really like about it is um, as they made more and more Guilty Gear games, you could kind of get more of the characters' backstories. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, and then you can, it really like leaves a lot of room to go through the arcade mode with every single character, which I already usually do with, I love side-scrolling fighting games, actually over 3D fighting games. Um, 2D, I yeah, what, just do better at. I think that I would definitely prefer most 2D ones. Is there a 3D one that you do like? Let's see. What are my favorite 3D fighting games? I know, it's like not that long of a list, right? Yeah. Well, uh, Smash Brothers, right? Smash Brothers, Soul oh. Calibur, um, Dead or Alive. DOA is pretty fun. Yeah. What are some other like classic ones that you're into? Oh, I, I mean, you did like Street Fighter and stuff. Oh, yeah. So Street Fighter <coughs> of the 2D or 3D? Either, you know what, just fighting games. Any D. <laughs> any D will do. You know what, I will take any D. Oh, am I on the shield again? You're staring. <laughs> you think you were me? I didn't think I was you. <laughs> that would involve the possi thinking. The possibility was there, <laughs> and I chose to explore that option. Let's, uh, let's check this map. Let's just go straight up. Can you straight take us? Up. Yeah. Straight up, no, tell me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, is this Is that what happens next to me? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> uh, we're gonna die again. <laughs> you know what? No, I don't wanna die. I know, but we're gonna. <laughs> what about the camera? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is a bad time. Are you going to drive us into that heart? <laughs> um, that's like our exit, but we need to save two more bunnies. Oh, and I didn't realize it was like corporeal and you could run into it. So that, that one's on Coach Tracy. Okay. Um, I feel like we are going to have to stop and fight, but yeah. it's probably too late. Will you do the cannon? Oh, fuck. Bad at this. <laughs> you know what? I think that we can't be trusted in space together. <laughs> um, we're just gonna take one more stab at this level. Okay. We'll see what we can do. Third time's the charm. Yeah. 
Um, why don't you tell people how we came into each other's lives? So, Nick and Victor Origins. <laughs> Let's talk about the era, right? Uh, 20, like what, 10? Yeah. 20, 2009? Yeah, 2009, 2010. Everybody had hair that made them look like kind of a cute lesbian. <laughs> I was like still very confused about my sexual orientation. Uh, Nick was super cute and working at Buffalo Exchange at the time. Which on, it was- I was super cute at the time. <laughs> you- <laughs> Never uh, again. <laughs> we were both so twinky. Oh, you were tiny back then. Yeah, I was a tiny, tiny creature. <laughs> um, and I went into Buffalo Exchange to sell clothes and- you, Nick, you cashed out for like $2.50. I felt so bad. <laughs> yeah, you like looked at my ID and then found me. Okay, I'm required to look at your ID, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> so Nick looked at my ID, wrote my name down. I did do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you found me on the internet? Yeah. And Facebook was like already a thing, so it was already a point where you could just like type in someone's name. But the creepy thing, I have been tempted many times working at Buffalo Exchange to just like, I have all of their information, you know, I have like their address and stuff. It's like, if I think they're interesting, maybe I'll just like go hang out in their neighborhood. <laughs> just like I've thought it, I've never done it, except for that one time that we became friends. <laughs> yeah, so that what ha that's what happened. Nick was a creep, and then I really wanted to fuck you the first time I met you, but I didn't know how to initiate that or be a gay boy <laughs> um so that was the thing <laughs> that's okay we figured it out yeah what tell people about our first date uh Did sushi, I you on a and nice date? <laughs> sushi and pirate bowling or pirate uh golf i i can't remember why i decided we should go mini golfing but part of it was i had a coupon I don't know where the coupon came from, but it was like glow in the dark mini golf in the basement of some Portland bar. <laughs> no, I'm, I say things normally. Coupon. Coupon. <laughs> Harry Potter, I think seven or six or I think the seventh movie seven. was out. So the second to last movie yeah. was out in theaters, and we were parked right by a movie theater, and we bonded over Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. No, wait, we're gonna get out of here. Okay. We're gonna do this. Okay. Defense. Uh, so you steer, I'm going to go shoot the cannon. Oh my god, just full speed ahead into the... Ah! ah! Run! <laughs> Thank you for winning that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Babe, I don't think I can like ever like run a ship with you <laughs> or like even like a ship on water. Like that, I think we would capsize. <laughs> yeah, I'd be good at a lot of things, but... Not a ship in space <laughs> or anything that requires me to pay attention to one thing. Oh my god, they're just really dumping us right in the next one. Do you want to go for it until we die? Yeah. What's your favorite snack while you're playing video games? Well, you know, that's a great question, Victor. Um, I have this issue where depending on the game, you know, certain snacks are better because sometimes you, it's a game that you can pause and you can like really dip your hand into like a bag of chips and get like a perfect scoop of salsa. But then sometimes, you know, it's a very frantic game, and maybe, like, you just die briefly, and you just need to get a quick munch in, in between respawns or something. So, that would be, like, more of a, a nut situation. <laughs> Ooh, three bunnies already, that's kinda cool. Oh, what is that bomb now? I don't know, and I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, 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 oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. I don't know if... Oh, fuck. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, I don't know if... Oh, my God. I no, know. this is scary. This I don't know terrifying. if the shield is going to protect us from that. I don't think it will. Okay, we made it. Oof. This game is stressful. Yeah. <laughs> that what giant is that fucking, fucking thing? giant thing? Oh, good job with the laser. Come through, laser game. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we yes. Go. We're back. We're back in business. Fuck. Wait. Oh no, that's oh. good, that's good. We just gotta get back to the portal now. Sweet. Well, I can keep them at bay. That's all we need. <laughs> bay boy, keep them at bay. Okay, <laughs> bay. <laughs> it's my bay, bay. from the bay. <laughs> bay, bay. Um, burr. Um, burr, burr. <laughs> we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. <laughs> uh, no, we're gonna make it! <laughs> uh, no! Yeah! That was really weird for a second. Okay, let's go into space. I yeah. think we can handle it. 
<laughs> Why do we have simulators? <laughs> I told you it takes me a minute to get good at it, and then, you know. It took you, yeah, 7.27 minutes. Wait, 0.27? That's not how seconds work. No, that's 7 minutes and 27 seconds. Is that not 7.27 seconds? <laughs> Ooh, everybody, it's time for the quick time event. And uh, in tribute to Victor's name, which uh, he got from Castlevania. All of the questions are Castlevania themed this week. Whoa! Yeah! I hope I get them. Uh, question one. Okay. Uh, Castlevania is developed and published by which major game company? Konami. A, Konami. B, Capcom, C, Square Enix. Please let me say all of the answers. That is correct. Uh, question two. Though originally released for the family computer disc system, the original Castlevania came to the NES in which year? A, 1986, B, 1987, C, 1988. 1987. That is correct. Yay, that was the year I was born. When were you born? That's not important right now. That's not one of the questions. Which of these Castlevania games was not originally released on the Nintendo DS? A, Order of Ecclesia, B, Aria of Sorrow, C, Portrait of Ruin. Uh, Aria of Sorrow. Yes! Wow, okay. You know some stuff. Um, question four. Simon Belmont is the main character of which of these Castlevania titles? A. Castlevania 2, B. Symphony of Night, C. Rondo of Blood. Uh, A. That is correct! Wow, it's a clean sweep. <laughs> we got four more, though. Ooh. Question five. Which was the first 3D Castlevania game? Lord a. of Shadows. What? Do you want to say that again? Lord of Shadows. No, you're wrong. No. You're wrong before I said that options even. Uh, if, I, if you would let me say the options like I told you to, you would have had a chance. No <laughs> points. No points. <laughs> question six. It, the answer was 64, by the way. Uh, question six. Wait, was, uh, will you read me the... L- no, you okay. don't get to know. Okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't play by the rules. Okay. Question six. Lords of Shadow, the device of 2010 reboot, was produced by this well-known Japanese game designer. A. Satoru Iwata. B. Hideo Kojima. C. Suda51. Uh, B. Hideo Kojima, that is correct. What did he make? It's a bonus question, but you don't get any points for it. Uh... Metal Gear. God oh, yeah. damn it. Uh-huh. Question seven. Which of these castle... You only know about Castlevania, apparently. <laughs> question seven. Which of these Castlevania subtitles did I make up? A. Circle of the Moon. B. Dracula X Chronicles. C. Dirge of Tranquility. Wait, could you read me the question again? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand you were saying all these words. I made I, I made up ducks. one of the titles. Oh. <laughs> you have to tell me, quick. Uh, I don't remember what you said. Just say a letter. I don't know. Uh, uh, A. You're so wrong, it's C. Uh, and, and, okay, this is a gimme. Question eight, Owie card is which vampire name spelled backwards? Dracula. Uh, God damn it, you don't get the point. You don't learn. (laughs) No point. (laughs) I had such funny answers for that one. I hate this show. (laughs) You get no ducks. (laughs) But I'm shooting ducks now. Um, Thank you for watching 8-Hit Gaming today. Uh, This has been my wonderful, if infuriating, guest, Victor Belmont. I love you. Oh, are you just going to sleep on your... Couch where you live? Yes. Okay. This is where I live now. Okay. I'm not going back to San Francisco. I want to play Duck Hunt forever. No. Oh, it's actually kind of impressive that you're playing it sideways. Really? I don't want to give you too much credit. Um, Victor, where can people find you, like, social media-wise? Do you have any events or videos coming up? What should we look for? You can follow me on most of my handles at Victor Belmont. That's V I K T O K. So important. B E L M O N T. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at, at Mr. Victor. So that's at capital M S T R V K T R. Or you can find me at VictorBelmont.com. My booking email is there if you want to book me for any of your events, especially Castlevania related. Hey, also, if you want one of these cool hats that me and Victor always wear, our yeah. friend Oliver Young makes them, and you can find them probably peripherally through either of our social media. Buy them. Um, support local artists who make fisting hats. Yeah, I love yeah. fisting. I love <laughs> hats. I love fisting hats. Mm. All right. Um, say bye, I guess. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm going to go back to my home now. <laughs> oh, good night, baby. Night. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that you're the one that's furry. I know. <laughs> <laughs>